Towering Scientists is a series which tells the stories of some of the scientists and mathematicians whose names are inscribed on the four sides of the Eiffel Tower. In this episode, we'll take a look at the groundbreaking contributions of Antoine Lavoisier, who is regarded as the father of modern chemistry. To do that, I'm at the Arze Métier Museum in Paris, where a Lavoisier laboratory has been reconstructed. And joining me now is Michel Antoine, who is the director of this museum. Thank you very much for your time. Who was Antoine Lavoisier? Antoine Lavoisier is one of the most famous scientists in France and specialized in chemistry. And I believe every student, at least in France, knows his name because he's known as the father of chemistry. But Antoine Lavoisier was born uh, in 1743 in Paris. He was uh, quite a talented child in science, but started studying law, which was quite common at that time. Or every children from uh, bourgeoisie uh, studied preferably law than science. But he then studied chemistry, mathematics, but as he is a heir of enlightenment, he also studied economy, agronomy, and a lot of other uh, topics. So he had really a broad knowledge about the world around him. And you can find that uh, in, in the laboratory with some objects that are not objects coming from chemistry, but also in his writings where he show uh, a very wide um, idea uh, about the world. But we can't talk about Lavoisier without uh, talking about his wife, Marianne uh, Lavoisier. She was uh, at that time and even later considered as the muse and the secretary of uh, Lavoisier. But I believe, and many scientists believe now, that she was a bit more because she made drawings, she made calculations. So she was a real partner, intellectual partner to her husband. Why is Lavoisier regarded as the father of modern chemistry? Lavoisier really introduced a new paradigm in chemistry, a paradigm which is still relevant today. And it came from the fact that he wanted to introduce mathematics in chemistry. Chemistry at that time was more experimental. And then he tried to put mathematics in it and to develop uh, equations to, to see how you could equilibrate reactions. And um, at that time, the people thought that water or air were elements, and it showed that indeed they were compounds made of elements. Let's take uh, the water, for instance. Water is made of hydrogen and oxygen. And it was capable to measure, to weight the, um, both of them, and to show that when you have hydrogen and oxygen in certain uh, relation of quantity, you can have water and with a conservation of the weight of both elements. And this is absolutely extraordinary because it's really the starting of all the, the world of um, chemistry reaction, oxidation. So it's a new way of thinking and of looking at the world. Lavoisier was also a member of the uh, Academy of Science, a very famous uh, academy, and then he took part uh, of all the work done around the metrics, and among them he worked on the definition of the kilogram. And uh, that's quite interesting for us because the Conservatoire des Arts et Métiers, uh, the CNAM, uh, which is our main institution, is still uh, in charge of this kilogram and of defining better and better and better the kilogram. Can you tell us about this extraordinary Lavoisier laboratory here? This is uh, one of the famous uh, piece in our museum and we are quite proud of it. It's not exactly a reconstruction of uh, Lavoisier's laboratory because uh, we didn't want to have a period room, but we have here the most important uh, machines used by uh, Lavoisier at that time. And this is a very interesting topic because usually you only know the scientists, but you don't know the people behind who are really 
building the tools used to have the new findings. And Lavoisier was quite aware of it. And he asked to the most famous engineer uh, of the time to build some of the objects you have here. So you have uh, in front of you the element of the experiment that um, shows that you have a conservation of weight, of mass, uh, in the water. So what he did, he weighed hydrogen, he weighed oxygen, and then he gathered the two gases in this bowl there, using electricity, and then he discovered that it was a conservation of the mass, and then this was this famous sentence that everybody knows, rien ne se crée, rien ne se perd, tout se transforme, nothing is creating, nothing is lost, everything is transformed. And this is, of course, one of the famous uh, findings uh, of Lavoisier. All those objects were in the laboratory, and they were saved by Marianne Lavoisier, uh, Lavoisier's wife, after Lavoisier has been beheaded, and uh, she transferred it to her niece, Madame de Chazelle, and it remained, among other uh, elements, other the document, in uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Chazelle, um, domain, and uh, we had those objects only in the mid-50s. Uh, so it's quite a new uh, acquisition, new, new, it's nearly uh, 50, uh, 75 uh, years, but quite a new acquisition for, for us in the, in the museum. And can you tell us about the other instruments that we see in this lab? All the objects in this room belong to Lavoisier's laboratory, of course, but you can see how broad was his mind because he had a lot of other objects because he was interested in everything. So he, he had a lot of um, stones and rocks uh, because geology was also part of uh, his interest, as a chemist is quite uh, obvious. And also astronomy, you can find here in the laboratory an astrolabe. And of course he was not an astronomer, but at that time the idea of enlightenment was to know everything about the, the, the world. And it's what, you, it's what you find in the encyclopedia. Uh, which is uh, the, the, the book of that time. Why was Lavoisier guillotined? Lavoisier was guillotined because he was not only a scientist, he was also what was called at that time fermier général, so he was a, a tax collector, let's take, uh, take it so, and then he was kind of symbol of the power of the monarchy, and uh, of the weight on people, because uh, giving money is always uh, uh, felt uh, as, a, as a weight. And then, he, of course, when he was beheaded, uh, some said, uh, we don't need scientists. But that was not the idea of uh, French uh, Revolution at all. It was the idea only of uh, one man, because we know that the uh, French Revolution also made a lot for science and for our institution, because uh, our institution was founded by l'abbé Grégoire, and uh, he was a revolutionary priest, and uh, it is the revolution uh, which created Le Musée des Arts et Métiers. Lavoisier died uh, at the age of 51. He was beheaded uh, during the, the terror. It, he was uh, beheaded uh, in 1794. Uh, which, strangely, is also the date of the creation of the Conservatoire National des Arts et Métiers.